The stiff monopodalic jump test is extremely useful for cases such as unilateral injuries to compare the values for the limbs. To proceed with a new acquisition from the test section of the patient screen, click on Jump Test. The icons corresponding to the different types of jump available will appear immediately. Select Stiff, as shown by the pop-up to obtain reliable and repeatable data during the execution of the test, it is necessary to correctly position the sensor on the subject to be evaluated. For the jump test, the sensor must be hooked to the appropriate belt and positioned below the line that connects the two venous dimples lumbar sacral passage at S1, S2 vertebrae. Once the sensor is positioned, we can continue scrolling the protocol guides that show us how to set the test parameters, how to proceed with the acquisition, and what are the different parameters to view during the test. In the stiff monopodalic jump, the subject first performs a sequence of jumps with the left monopodalic position, and then a sequence of jumps in the right monopodalic position. After the operator tells the subject to begin, the subject performs a series of vertical jumps with stiff knee. The first jump must be performed with a counter movement, while the others must be performed with the lower limbs extended. Before starting the acquisition from the central ring, it is necessary to select whether we want to perform a monopodalic or bipodalic jump. In this example, we will select the monopodalic option. We are then asked to indicate if the subject is carrying any additional weight during the test. In this case, we select no. Finally, indicate which parameter of jump we want to view in real time during the test. Select the high in this example. Before starting the acquisition, for the test result to be considered reliable, it is necessary to explain to the subject how to perform the test. Once the subject is ready, start the acquisition by clicking on REC. Perform the left monopodalic jump first. During the stabilization phase, the subject must remain still until the stabilization ring disappears and the test begins. During the acquisition, the jump parameter chosen in the preparation phase will be displayed in the central ring. When the subject has performed the desired number of jumps, select Stop. Then, perform the right monopodalic jump. Again, during the stabilization phase, the subject must remain still until the stabilization ring disappear and the test begin. During the acquisition, the jump parameter chosen in the preparation phase will be displayed in the central ring. When the subject has performed the desired number of jumps, select Stop. If the tests have been carried out correctly, Click on the Save icon to save the test in a database and view the report with the test results. The clinical report of jump test consists of three main sections. Jump parameters and indices, charts and contact times, angles of the pelvis. The report allows for comparison with the parameters obtained during the right and left monopodalic jumps.